Oh, it's new cycling kit day. But who did I choose? There's a lot of options out there. Boom. L-E-L. Wait, L-E-L? Or is it... Wait, L-E-L? L-E-L. 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 Yeah, so I got a new kit today. Pretty stoked on it. Um, I'm, I'm saying best cycling kit company ever. And to be fully honest, full disclosure, I know nothing about cycling kits other than I've gotten some before. I've actually never bought a cycling kit, so this is the first purchase of a cycling kit I've ever made. But yeah, first kit ever bought. Um, I didn't know what the hell I was looking at. Obviously, I ride enduro, do some cross training on the road bike. So I did what anybody would do. I consulted the internet and I scoured the dark webs and I went to cracks and crevices and read everything that I possibly can and I came up with LEL as being number one. So we're gonna open this thing up and take a look at it and uh, see if, uh, if this was a good purchase or not. It smells fresh. women's but with the uh, COVID craze going on um, with bikes and such there's not much stuff available to people I think I bought ones is this woman's this is crazy this is not a men's it's not a men's large cannot be but yeah initially looking at the stuff the obviously very lightweight breathable got all this fancy moisture wicking fabric very soft around the neckline we got some little reflective stuff back here. We got three little pockets. Got the little, little extra key thing off the side that I always appreciate. Got some good weather stripping. No rough seams anywhere. Now, I usually run a large, and this is looking a little on the small side for me. But uh, we're going to find out if it... Uh, if it fits on here in a second. And then uh, sliding over to the bibs. Got a nice little Ziploc bag. Same fresh scent. Maybe oak and bacon. What we got here? This. This is nice. Very uh, thick, stretchy straps. That would be nice over your shoulders for long rides. Plenty of breathable fabric. This though, that is a nice ass chamois. I'm stoked on that. Let's see what else we got cooking. Got a little reflective striping for those early starts or late finishes, and fairly discreet branding. But uh, that's a pretty kick ass logo. And being I live in California, you gotta rep your home state, so. Seems like some quality stuff, man. Nice elastic around the bottom. That doesn't look like, that's like quality elastic stitched up and got some crazy, look at that stuff. It's like, I don't know what that is, but it's nice. It's really nice. So far, so good. Voila. So, little, I didn't think it was really gonna fit to be honest, I got a large and it looked like a small but this stuff is incredibly stretchy and um, if you like a tight kit that's just what you're gonna get me personally I don't want it to move anywhere while I'm riding so this fits pretty good maybe a little short around the waist but um, I'll have stuff on my pockets I think this is a this is a good fitting kit so what I got or jersey at least what I got is the the men's venture 2.0 jersey so it comes with a couple different colors this is just the one that I opted for because I like purple and that's that's my jam but uh, yeah very breathable got my armpits a little sweaty because you guys are making me nervous right now and I, f I feel some airflow but very form fit comfortable jersey I feel like I'm just gonna get that much closer to all those KOMs just that much with this aerodynamic shit that I got going on right here but um yeah I'm really stoked um, yeah, I'm going to say um a bunch of times and stoked a bunch of times. How about that? All right, and here are the bibs. I'm debating if I'm going to show the other video. 
another video what I did was is I had the bibs on but I stuffed actually two beanies down my pants to accentuate you know the cycling short bulge I thought it was funny but I probably isn't funny so it may or may not make it but regardless these things are quality you can tell the elastic bands at the bottom are gonna last the way that they grip your thighs, they're not going to be sliding around at all. Very form fit, but very free moving and comfortable. Um, very, very happy with how they fit everything. Again, it's, it's a very form fit tight kit, but uh, when I'm cycling, I don't want anything rubbing or moving around. This is exactly as I want my roadie kit to be. So I'm stoked to get out and, uh, and get on the trail with this thing. I mean the road, because I don't wear this on trails. Oh, uh, oh, uh, we just got, we just got the text. It is L-E-L. -L. So, whatever that, what was that shit that I was listening to earlier? L-E-L. You're wrong. It's not. L-E-L. No. It's L-E-L. -L. You pronounce it L-E-L. -L. Friend text me. L-E-L. -L. She knows. So, if you're in the market for a new kit, check out L-E-L. -L. It makes some really badass shit. And uh, why why would you not want to buy badass shit? Must find the best cycling kit known to man. <laughs>